to the arrest of a teenager outside Waukesha North High School with two guns tonight for the first time. 12 News is talking with police about what happened. 12 News Hillary Mintz is live at Waukesha North High School. Hillary, police are crediting students there with preventing a potential tragedy. Pol yes, absolutely, Patrick. This is all where it went down on Friday, and police say the teenage gunman they arrested lives in a neighborhood right next door to North High School. And when those students saw the gunman right here from the parking lot, they immediately alerted the school resource officer. That put training and practice into motion. An alarming arrest right next to Waukesha North High School. Friday, officers took a 17-year-old armed with this semi-automatic pistol and another handgun into custody. Tonight, police revealing alert students reported seeing the gunman masked in a pillowcase and sounded the alarm. They see a very suspicious behavior. One specifically, they gave a great detailed description. Captain Dan Bauman speaking for the first time about the incident and the quick action of the students and the school resource officer. It was pointing it and making certain maneuvers that clearly d uh, make the declaration that this person was going to make a hostile movement towards the school. Authorities putting several surrounding schools on a secure hold while police moved in. Do you think these students and alerting the SRO may have prevented a school shooting? 100% I believe these students were the most courageous students out there. They advocated for themselves. They advocated for those 1,200 plus students in, inside that building and moreover made the community a safe. Police say the teen is not a current or former student at North and recently moved to the area. His plans that day remain unclear. The investigation at this point is we're, we're navigating some, um, some behavioral health issues with the, with the defendant. And how the troubled teen had access to firearms, police say could be a big part of the investigation. Meanwhile, 12 News went to the teen's home Monday, but no one answered the door. Hillary, charges could be filed against the teenager sometime soon? Rick, we checked, Patrick. The district attorney's office tells us that those criminal charges could be filed later this week. Hillary Mintz reporting live in Waukesha tonight.